สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Thailand Today here on NBT World. The National Center of Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology (Biotech) and Geoinformatics Space Technology Development Agency (GISDA) have jointly worked together to deliver a protein compound or to the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency (JAXA) located in Tsukuba city of Japan. The compound will be examined by JAXA before it will be transported to the International Space Station (ISS) under JISDA's National Space Exploration Project, where it uh, crystallized under a wetless environment through the implementation of the Kibo experimental module from JAXA. Dr. Amarin Pimnu, head of the NSE project at JISDA. Said on February 20, 2019, that the research and support of this experiment in space was an investigation of the year 2018 entitled "The Protein Crystallization in Space for Anti-Moralia Drug Development Project." Moralia Drug Development in Space among biotechnology researchers, led by Dr. c h a i r a t Uthai p i b u n is to crystallize. The use of experimental equipment within JAXA's Kibo module in the ISS, which is the first c r y t a l i z a t i o n effort in the world to treat malaria. Dr. Amarin said the first SpaceX firing of this protein will be delivered in July 2019, which will be docked at ISS International Space Station and will be sent immediately to the Kibo module space laboratory at JAXA. This vastness was expected to receive more crystals than on Earth experiments. In addition, the researchers demonstrate clearly the structure of the protein crystal, which will lead to the development of new preventive anti-malaria p r e v e n t i v e quality. The Tourism Authority of Thailand (TAT) has led 88 Thai tourism operators for trade negotiation at the ITB. The world's leading travel trade show held uh, in the German capital until March 10, 2019. Tourism and Sports Minister v i r a s a k o s u r a t opened Thailand Pavilion at m a t s Berlin Exhibition Ground to showcase Thailand's tourism products. Thai tourism operators, airlines, and h o s t e l i e r are showcasing their tourism-related products and service. Similar to previous Thailand presence at the ITB, Thai tourism operators and TAT officials had great opportunities to meet with travel executives and government representatives from around the world. Tourism innovation, including applications and websites, are used to give information to visitors at the fair. During the event, the TAT has facilitated business matching opportunities for Thai businesses with leading European-based tour operators. Besides eco-friendly tourism, TAT Governor y u t a s a k Supason said 10 second, secondary provinces are promoted under the team, open to the new shades of Thailand. To draw more tourists uh, to lesser-known travel destinations, these uh, secondary provinces are Chiang Rai, m e h o n g s o n s u k h o t h a i n a n t r a t j a n t h b u r i c h u m p o n r a n o n g t r a n g and n a k o n s i t h a m b r a t More than 70% of European tourists like to travel by themselves and seek information from websites to save costs. During long holidays, they spent around 17 to 19 days in Thailand. The Geoinformatics and Space Technology Development Agency (GISDA) has cooperated with the Cabinet Office of Japan and partner agencies to promote the S Booster 2019 contest. GISDA officer p o n t e Nawakit Kanok. Presided over the opening ceremony of the event to promote the contest on March 5, 2019. The contest is aimed to create new Asian space startups by supporting the commercialization of each idea in collaboration with Japanese industries. Mr. Ponte 
Sajista has cooperated with its partner agencies to organize the contest for the first time to encourage small and medium-sized enterprise SME operators to use the Quasi Zenit satellite system QZSS, one of the satellites that provide the most accurate location information to create new innovations for sustainable growth. Applications are accepted from now until April 19, 2019. Interested individuals can register for the contest on website kskp.gista.org slash sbooster slash. Qualified candidates will have an opportunity to participate in a workshop on the satellite navigation system business and contest in Japan. During March 28 to 29, 2019, Bangkok is hosting the Corporate Innovation Summit 2019, Asia's first experimental conference at Centra Grand in Bangkok Convention Center, Central World, Rashidamri Road. Next part, we will talk with um, Dr. Supachai Pajariyanon. He's the CEO and founder of Regional Corporate Innovation Accelerator Rise, which uh, organized this important event. Coming back after a short break. In 2019, Thailand is ready for ASEAN chairmanship, working together and building solidarity to increase competitiveness and innovation with the people at the center. All sectors are ready to promote unity of the ASEAN community. NBT World is excited to be a full supporter of the Thai ASEAN chairmanship. Keep up to date on ASEAN 2019 movement with NBT World. Welcome back to Thailand Today here on NBT World. Today we have Dr. Supachai Pajariyanon. He's the CEO and he's the founder of the Regional Corporate Innovation Accelerator, or called in short, is RISE, R-I-S-E, which uh, organized uh, this uh, important event. He will tell us how Thailand and business enterprises will benefit from the Corporate Innovation Summit 2019. Swadika. Swadika. Welcome to Thailand Today program, sir. Wow, well, very excited to, to be in the program today. Uh, well, you have reason to be excited because we are more excited than you to have a sitting because he's not only a medical doctor, but uh, it seems that you have a, a kind of a, what do you call, chat, people call you investors, medical doctor or something. The yeah, one who like looks, the you know, serial entrepreneur. The serial entrepreneur. <laughs> well, okay. Okay, so tell me because um, well, to think of that, it's so easy. People think, uh, what? but Thailand as a whole, we are in the position of for, uh, introducing such a development, innovation, to be what is the rice wanted. Yeah, so I, th I think um, the, the, we, if you look at the broader view, mm. so most of the companies or most of the, we have been uh, listening and uh, hearing mm. a lot about startup. Oh, yes. The you know, startup ecosystem is uh, growing, uh, right? Uh, but uh, for us, I mean, uh, if you're looking at the, the who going to drive the country, uh. who going to, who be able to drive the country, I think uh, it is not startup yet. Mm -hmm. The startup ecosystem is just, um, it's begin like 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. it's, very, yes. it's still very young. Uh -huh. If you compare that to Silicon Valley, uh -huh. like uh, 40 uh -huh. years that they've been uh -huh. running. Uh -huh. uh, so, but how, if we want to drive the country you know, forward, mm -hmm. I think th there's only like two big, uh, like two big group mm -hmm. of, um, uh, that can do this. Mm -hmm. So one is the large corporate. Mm -hmm. yeah, and the second is a government. Mm -hmm. yeah, if you be able to, to help these two people mm -hmm. yeah, to disrupt themselves or mm -hmm. to even like move faster mm -hmm. in terms of innovation, mm -hmm. that's going to grow the country. Mm -hmm. And that's why um, uh, we, are, um, um, uh, we set up RISE mm -hmm. as a company. Mm -hmm. yeah, we call ourselves Corporate Innovation Accelerator. Uh -huh. So we, uh, our job is to help the large corporate uh -huh. and the government mm -hmm. to innovate faster in this super fast moving world. Yeah, and um, and I think uh, if you're looking at our mission, mm. yeah, we want to drive like one percent GDP growth mm -hmm. for Thailand and Just Southeast Asia. Just one is enough, sufficient. Just one is already oh, a lot. Right, right, yeah, uh, so we're talking about four hundred billion USD. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. and one uh, percent of uh, GDP is mm. four billion USD. Of course. 
course. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and that uh, if we be able to do that, we're going to help Thailand to create one more million jobs. Mm, yeah. mm, interesting, interesting. But uh, maybe our audience like to know more a little bit on here because I'm a little bit crossing, jump a little bit over. Medical doctor. Yeah, Why are yeah. you so deep in, into the business? Because Medical is already <laughs> fixed up your head already. Yeah, yeah I, I start my, uh, uh, I was a doctor before I start uh, the, the business career. Uh, yeah, when I was uh, the, the medical student, okay. yeah, second year, Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have one pain in my life oh. is that I want to uh, like trade the stock in a stock market when I was sitting in the classroom. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. I, I think, oh, this is the pain. How are we gonna, how are we gonna solve this pain? Yeah. At that time, if you remember, uh -huh. so we're using uh, Nokia 3310. Ah, yeah, big one. Yeah, the, yeah. the, 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 and the, then the, the heavy. And everyone played a snake game. <coughs> Remember a snake game that we play on the Nokia phone? Mm -hmm. Actually, that model is the first, uh, one of the first model mm -hmm. that we can connect to the internet. Ah. And I, uh, I talked to mm -hmm. my friends who's mm -hmm. engineers, say, hey, mm -hmm. why, don't, why don't we try to develop the, 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 the stock trading apps yeah, so that uh, we can just uh, trade an app in the classroom. Oh, we, don't, we don't need to that. go out. Of the room, mm -hmm. and then make a phone call to the to the brokerage. Look. Yeah. So that's that, and then we did that. You did that. So we did that, and then that's uh, that's uh, 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 for the first time. Uh, uh, Thailand and uh, we be able uh, in mm -hmm. Thailand we be able to let the people trade the stock via mobile uh, for the very first and time. And wherever they are. Uh, no, I yeah, but the, the most important thing uh, is that um, at that point, uh, yeah, I totally believe mm -hmm. that. Wow. If you have the pain and you try to solve it by using technology and innovation, mm -hmm. it's not going to benefit only you, mm. but it's going to benefit everyone else. Yeah. The society, maybe the country, mm. or even the world. Mm. Yeah, so that is so that is like my starting point. Mm. Now here we got uh, one of the brilliant uh, citizens sitting right here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this rice had been uh, set up, when was it? Uh, four years ago. Uh, four years ago. So you went out well. You've been doing well. Yeah, so like uh, the, for the first year, uh -huh. yeah, uh, we think that how, if we want to, to, to drive the GDP of the country, uh -huh. how are we going to do that? Uh -huh. So we're gonna, um, uh, we, uh, do we, we have two ways of doing uh -huh. the, this. Yeah. So the first way uh -huh. that we do is that we try to bring technology company uh -huh. to work with the big corporate or the government. Yeah. Why? Because um, uh, these two, uh, most of the time, they're not like um, they're working together mm. very well in the first place. Mm. Yeah, mm. Um, and and uh, and if you if you wonder why they not want to work together, because if you think about the big corporate, mm. Mm. so the big corporate because they are big, mm. yeah, they have the money, they are fully equipped. yeah, they uh, have fully equipped mm. infrastructure, mm. the people, right? Mm. But but that's also pose some challenge because as you're getting bigger, you are slower. Yeah, you have more hierarchy. Mm. Yeah, and then uh, this uh, this uh, the world right now. Mm. We're not talking a lot about um, the economy of scale anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're talking about um, this, the the faster fish, mm. not mm -hmm. uh, not only the big fish that eat small fish, right? But how we we gonna be? How fast you can yeah, be. the fast. Yeah, the fast the, fish. The faster the better. Mm -hmm. Gonna mm -hmm. eat slow so fish. Mm -hmm. And then if you are the mm -hmm. large company, the question you need to ask is like. How mm -hmm. you gonna be mm -hmm. the big fish that move fast too? Mm -hmm. yeah, so that's um, mm -hmm. so that's a key point. As a layperson for this, tell me, you have a company called Rice Regional Corporate Innovation Accelerator. So that means anybody will come to you if they want to innovate something, right? Oh. Yeah, if, if if they are like large corporate uh -huh. or the government, okay. and then they want to innovate faster. They want Into to anything. Yeah, basically, Be yeah. Uh, most of the company. On economy. Yeah. Kind of thing. Oh. Most of the company, they they need the same thing. Okay, uh -huh. so uh, they need to get more revenue. But they have their own click or their own um, personnel to do so. Right, but sometimes it's not uh, it's not fast enough. Okay. You yeah. So if you're looking uh -huh. at like um, if you're looking at um, the trend, twenty years ago 
or 10 years ago, uh. the largest company in the world mm -hmm. is going to be the, um, uh, the, the resourceful company, for example, like company like energy company. Mm -hmm. Company like General Electric, uh -huh. you know, like these these are the large company, mm -hmm. huge, huge. Yeah, yes. but but now if you're looking at ten most valuable company, mm -hmm. none of them are are there, right? Right now, mm -hmm. like a company like Google, like Facebook, like oh, Apple, they are the become conglomerate already. Yeah. Right, mm -hmm. right. So this is why mm -hmm. large, huge alone is not relevant anymore. Mm -hmm. yeah, you need to be fast. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then you need to move fast. Mm -hmm. yeah, that that that's the only the only key mm -hmm. to success. Mm -hmm. And that is what we that, that is why we said okay, mm -hmm. if you cannot move um, uh, if you cannot move fast mm -hmm. enough, we are gonna bring Good some technology you. company, uh -huh. you know, the startup company, uh -huh. to work with you, yeah, to let you move faster. Uh -huh. What do you get then? So yeah, so basically. Yeah, we are um, um, this uh, this part we're running as accelerator. Oh, okay. We call accelerator. Yeah, yeah, so we uh, incubate the company, okay. but then we try to find the way to, to let them work together. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, what we get out of that is that uh -huh. we do we have the management fee. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, to that. make that work. Yeah, but they would love to because uh, just to to run faster. Why not? You say. Mm. So what uh, what is the right strategy? Two thousand nineteen. Yeah, so just just a little bit, uh, a little bit more on the on the strategy. Yeah, okay. so we not only have the way that we bring the startup outside uh -huh. to work with the company. Mm. Another part that we do quite a lot mm. is to train the the people in the company. First, okay, training, and then. Yeah, so first is stress, first is the training. Training, so everybody, everybody from, from boss the, to from the, the yeah from the CEO from, to the, uh, from uh, the board. Really? Yeah, from the yeah from the the talent in the organization. Training to be a good uh, governor, I mean governance. No, uh -huh. it's um, we we train them to be what we call intrapreneur. Yeah, so normally we talk a lot about entrepreneur, entrepreneur. right? Yeah. yeah. But now the corporate, what what you need is to, the one who gonna create innovation in, inside a company. Mm -hmm. They need to be more entrepreneurial. They need to have entrepreneurial mindset. Yeah, to do that. Otherwise, they just come to work nine to five, nine to five, and then how are you gonna gonna make innovation happen? Mm. So you need these new kind of people. So that's what what, what mm. we call intrapreneur. Mm -hmm. So if mm -hmm. you're looking at the strategy, mm -hmm. yeah, the, the the strategy for the first one that I just mentioned mm. is um, to bring the technology outside mm. to inside. inside. Yeah, okay. so this is outside in. Ah, that's why you call intrapreneur. Right, ah. and then. But then we need to have the, your own people uh. to to cap to be capable uh. to do that. So we need we we call this inside out. Uh. Yeah. So outside in bring something uh, outside to move the company faster. Mm. At the same time, mm. you need so to um, do the screw them up. Yeah, screw <laughs> them up. Okay, you move faster. You you need uh. to be entrepreneurial. Uh. Yeah. Uh. So that's what we call in, intrapreneur program. A company of ten get you down there to do something. To manage like you are doing, but uh, out of the ten, so all the ten to be trained, to be selected, to be able to m mobilize, or not, so or selectively. Yeah. So most of the time, we are, uh, we need to talk to the CEO. Yeah, okay, they will be the one. Right. Mm -hmm. Because if um, uh, um, uh, Howard Business Review mm -hmm. just uh, published the article, mm -hmm. and they mentioned that if the CEO didn't buy in the mm -hmm. innovation. If he still said innovation is belong to IT department mm -hmm. or innovation belong to R and D, yeah. pack and go. It's very <laughs> hard. It's very hard to do. Uh, yeah, so that, that that's why I think um, we only talk to the company that uh, the uh, CEO is the one who requests the meeting, mm -hmm. yeah, and then say, okay, this is our focus. We need to move the uh, mm -hmm. move fast. Mm -hmm. yeah, so that's that's what we uh, our strategy uh -huh. right now. You did mention about driving. So again, as a layperson, how did you get into that? How did you, what is the right direction to drive the development of any corporate innovation, especially in Southeast Asia? For, yeah, we, we, um, uh, in the past uh, three years, yeah, we've been uh, helping uh, more than 1,000 startup yeah, in, in, uh, throughout the region. Give me some sample. Oh wow, um, yeah. a anyone you know, I think probably they graduate from our program. So, for example, the one that just signed up, uh, signed the MOU uh -huh. with the uh, revenue department, uh -huh. uh, the company called ITAX. 
Okay. Have you heard about them? Uh -huh. So they are so they are the one who uh, you be able to help calculate your tax, uh -huh. and then they recommend you how to reduce your tax. Uh -huh. Yeah. So you so you need to donate, or you need to buy the insurance, or you need to buy uh, a long term uh, uh -huh. a fund mm -hmm. or a retirement uh, mutual fund. Mm -hmm. So these are the application that graduate from the program. Mm -hmm. And now I think uh, after MOU, mm -hmm. what they be able to do is that they be able to help you submit. Mm. Yeah, the, the the filing the, the annual, annual uh, tax. Uh, revenue tax. Yeah, yeah. Ah, so that's okay. yeah. So that's one of the yeah one of the like the the, the, the the first batch that we have. Mm. So right now we've been running uh, it uh, until the fourth batch mm. already. Mm -hmm. So four years in a row. So this is very practical. Yes. Yeah. So again, I ask, how can practical perspectives on corporate innovation in Asia help change the world? Yeah, I, I think uh, one of the very interesting uh, things is that if you're looking at Southeast Asia or mm -hmm. e even Asia, mm -hmm. the way that innovation is, uh, is uh, uh, moving is mm -hmm. different from the U.S., mm -hmm. starting from the mm -hmm. mindset. Of course, of course. Yeah, because if you look at the mindset of the, of the valley, mm -hmm. yeah, startup trying to disrupt the, the old school, right? Mm -hmm. They're trying to, okay, you're old uh. school, so I disrupt. Uh. I think it's very hard. For uh, for Southeast Asia or even in Asia, okay. you say you're gonna disrupt the number one retailer here in Thailand. Of course, possible. It's yeah. very very hard. Yeah. yeah, but but then how are we gonna do that? We need to collaborate. So this is a key word. Collaboration. Yeah, yeah collaboration. Mm. Why? Because um, if you if you're looking mm. at the as I mentioned, if you look at the, mm. the large corporate, mm. what they need is that speed. Right, because they're, 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 they're they 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 themselves have their own, but speeding up is so important. It's so yes. important. Mm -hmm. And who has the speed? Who has the technology? The startup has it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But why startup need a corporate? Mm -hmm. Because first, they don't have money. Mm -hmm. Second, mm -hmm. and the most important, they don't have customer. They because have, but less, I think. Not, yeah, less. Not that to the level that they want it. And the key point is that uh, when we're talking about a startup, mm -hmm. why startup die? Mm -hmm. Why, uh, when, 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 when one trying to start a new company, mm -hmm. oh, please don't do that because 90% of the startup die. We have heard about this, right? This hearted already yeah. in hearing that. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, if you're asking uh, why and why they die, mm -hmm. oh, because they don't have money. And why they don't have money? Because they don't have customer. <laughs> and who has the customer? <laughs> it's a shame. It's uh, a corporate. Uh -huh. yeah, so that, that's why I think if you be able to bring th these two together, one has the customer, mm. one has a technology, mm. and trying to find the business model that both win. Mm. These gonna help the country. These gonna help the whole region. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. and, and, and that's why that's that what we do. So now we're expanding from, from Thailand to Asian. Yeah, also, so, right? so last year we were very lucky yeah, mm -hmm. because we, uh, um, we work with uh, the number one largest uh, conglomerate in Thailand, mm -hmm. which is PTT. PTT, yes. Yeah, so we uh, help PTT setting up what we call regional, like, uh, accessorator. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we, uh, so we uh, had operate in five countries. Wow. Yeah, so oh. it's mean like in Singapore, uh -huh. Malaysia, Indonesia, and Vietnam, okay. and definitely Thailand. Yeah, so these are the countries that we mm. are coming mm. out, mm. scouting the startup, mm -hmm. who be able to work with PTT Group, mm. yeah, and then mm. let them work together. What are the significant factors so for Thailand to become corporate innovation hub in Southeast Asia? Yeah, I think I think the, um, if we're looking at the the startup, um, wow, there's uh, so many like a uh, law. Mm -hmm. That need to be changed, mm -hmm. yeah, to attract more investor uh -huh. coming. Mm -hmm. But if we're talking about the corporate, I think the most important thing is the corporate mindset. Yeah? So the corporate, they need to change your mindset. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, like to be what? Change their mindset to be eager, or what? To work harder, or what? I, I think yeah. Uh, 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 number the, one. Uh, yeah, because they don't have money. They, you know, their heart already <laughs> been broken already. You know, but uh, to 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 drop the magic drops into their business. Yeah, it's to be done by rice. Right. So ba basically, um, uh, it's not done by us. It's mm. a collaboration. A collaboration yeah? between something. Uh, right. Uh, and uh, the second thing is the um, uh, the straight, uh, the. the uh, the mindset need to be adapted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For example, mm -hmm. I said, mm -hmm. we this day, 
the corporate need to prefer like uh, risk mm. over safety. Mm. I'm not. I'm not talking something wrong. Mm -hmm. Prefer mm -hmm. risk over safety. Most corporate don't, Good. right? Yes. Because most corporate there. Oh, this is risky. So we need to keep our profit. Uh. Yeah. But then now the day. Uh -huh. Yeah. The cost of innovation is uh, is dropping uh, dramatically. Mm -hmm. For example, mm -hmm. if you want to uh, build a website, ten years ago, mm -hmm. you might need to invest a million baht. Mm -hmm. But now, yeah. Uh, if you want to build one website, the storage is free. Mm. Everyone, the cloud uh -huh. business, right? Uh -huh. Everyone keep it for free. Uh -huh. So if you if you th see this and uh -huh. you still think the same way that oh this is risky uh, developing the website, so this is not relevant anymore. We're going to come back for this, so especially uh, the, with the government Thailand 4.0 policy, right? So we are coming back to the end of the first part of the interview. So Nick will be focusing on the highlights of the Corporate Innovation Summit 2019. Please stay tuned. Evolution is accelerating, especially in the business world. It has become exponential. We need to evolve your organizations and get ahead of the herd. At Corporate Innovation Summit 2019, it is Asia's first experiential conference. Meet more than 2,000 C-suites, experience hands-on workshops, engage with world-class corporate innovators. To evolve to the future, you need to experience the future. Welcome back once again to our program. We are still with uh, Dr. Supachai Pajariyanon. He will tell us uh, the importance of the Corporate Innovation Summit 2019 um, to boost our country economy and development. But before that, we have little left on the mindsetting of the, the startup companies in Thailand. Please continue with that, please. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, mm -hmm. another uh, key point for the, mm -hmm. the mindset mm -hmm. for, for the big corporate and the mm -hmm. government to change mm -hmm. yeah, that, um, is, uh, we call it uh, prefer um, like um, the resource safety already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but now we pre uh, prefer practice over theory. What does practice that mean? Practice over theory. theory, of course. Yeah, mm -hmm. in the past, yeah, well, we, we rely only. Yeah, mm -hmm. on our theory. So, uh, for example, if we have the board meeting mm -hmm. in the meeting room, who is the one who make decision? Most of the, the time, the boss. The boss, right? <laughs> but now, if you mm. if you do something in innovation, mm. yeah, mm. the boss might not have that experience mm. because innovation is so new. Mm. And then, and, and how you gonna uh, your experience might not be relevant. Mm. You and me, mm. everyone, mm. right? Mm. So that that's why we have the term mm. we call hippo. Hippo, right? So uh. hippo stands for highest paid person opinion. Uh, okay. The one who sit in the, uh, in the corner, in the corner, and the corner and yeah, and the top, and uh, the, yeah. Uh -huh. So that's so that's not relevant anymore because he might say something that everyone in the, in the room shock because his experience. Yeah, mm. we value the experience. Mm -hmm. But then now, what the large company do? Mm -hmm. For example, like the company like Google, mm. what they do is that uh, when when we, when they have the board meeting, they have two screen. One screen showing presentation, another screen showing the data. Right, and then when we when they discuss, okay, which direction are we gonna go? Uh, we don't know. Uh -huh. the, uh, the hippo become facilitator, not become the boss anymore. Okay. Become facilitator, say, okay, look at the data. Uh -huh. What what do you guys think? Uh -huh. Oh, the data say we should go right. Then we go right. Uh -huh. So so these are the way that large corporate. They move, mm. and then the the, the very the mo one of the most innovative company in the world move, mm -hmm. right? So this is what we learn, and then this is why I said um, the learning. Yeah, we don't care about theory; we care more about the practice, the practice. and then get the feedback, mm. get the real mm. feedback from mm. your customer, mm. and improve it over time. Mm. Yeah, so that's a key point. Mm. So it must be very important with our uh, corporate innovation of uh, Thailand. Uh, 4.0 policy. Yeah, so uh, it's the same. So the, the um, whatever Thailand 4.0 mm. is doing, mm. I think um, we should focusing on the key element of the country. Mm. So I, I always uh, mm. tell like the, mm. the, 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 our friends in the government mm. sector, mm. say, hey, Thailand need to improve 
yeah, uh, Thailand 4.0, yeah, especially the tourism, because uh, we need to, to, to do better on the tourism tech. You yeah. want about 50 million? Yeah, why? <laughs> because right now we have the best beaches, mm. we have the best of forest mm -hmm. and mountain, but then sometimes our friends, uh, foreigners still rip off from the airport. Yeah, mm -hmm. the experience is not that, um, is not that good yet. So mm. why don't we use technology mm. to once, uh, from, from once the tourists land in the, mm. into the country mm. until they, they leave? But, uh -huh. yeah, why, why don't we make the experience excellent? Yeah, so that is one What's of the... What's on your mind? What's going to do about that? Yeah, because uh, right now, the, um, they, ha they, they only have great experience when they visit our uh, attractions, okay. right? Uh -huh. But then if, if we have the system, uh, the tech, uh. That uh, helping them uh, to oh, smooth all the, uh -huh. all the all the process. Ah, the technology yeah. you talk about is on hand. Yeah, on the oh, mobile. On the mobile. Yeah, <coughs> so that people can uh, be hassle-free, mm. and then they're gonna enjoy Thailand more. Mm. Yeah, so that is one of the <coughs> the things uh, for t uh, tourism tech. But we also have ag agri tech, right? Mm. Agriculture, which is the mm. core of uh, the the, mm. the country. The bones of the country. Yeah. Mm. Right. Always right. do that position. Yeah, and uh, I think if we, uh, we, need, we be able to improve it a lot more mm -hmm. yeah, using technology. <coughs> For mm -hmm. example, like the, one of the, our friends, yeah, Rick Holt. <coughs> so he's the, <coughs> the MIT grad mm -hmm. and then had won many, many <coughs> awards in the startup. What they're trying to do, they're trying to democratize the, um, the data ah. for agriculture, oh. using the data <coughs> to improve the efficiency. Mm. Yeah, so Climate-wise and everything. Everything. Else. All right, so now come to the main objective because you could arrange, um, what do you call, you arrange the Corporate Innovation Summit 2019. Is it the first time? This is the first <coughs> time, not, not only first time in uh, like Thailand, but it's the first time in Asia. It is, uh, yeah. yeah. It's your first experiment. Oh, really? Yeah, the key, the key <coughs> point, just, uh, just uh, 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 circling back to the, the point that we discussed, <coughs> pr mm. uh, prefer practice over theory. Uh, uh -huh. So this is going to be the, the, the summit that you're not going to come and then listen. Mm. You're going to come and, and do, do something. Oh. Yeah, so that, that's why we call experiential conference. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. and, uh, and what you're going to practice yeah, is all about innovation. Okay. Uh, corporate innovation. Oh. So we brought in like the world class speaker. Yeah, where normally they only speak and then they fly back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they're going to be now they're going to be uh, speaking <coughs> mm. and then running the workshop for you to join. Oh my God. Yeah. So for example, if we're talking about the new, the new, uh, the new way of writing business plan. Mm. Yeah, we call <coughs> business model canvas. Mm. Yeah. So this invented by the Mr. Mr. Alex Osterwalder. Mm -hmm. So he's gonna come. Oh wow. Yeah. He gonna he gonna run his uh, signature workshop plus the new workshop that he never run anywhere called Innovation Metrics. How the big corporate gonna measure the innovation success? Are you going to measure the innovation success by profit and loss? Maybe not, uh -huh. because innovation maybe take times, right? Okay, and course. how are you gonna make sure that these innovation projects gonna fly? Uh -huh. yeah, Alex gonna t uh, t uh, tell you about that. Mm. Yeah, but no, yeah, as I mentioned, we have over, over 100 speaker <laughs> Mm. From all over the world. So how many days is this? Four it's two days. It's two days. So hundred. Yeah, hundred speaker, forty workshop, nine stages. What Th can I do? Yeah. So this is the, this is the, we we uh, we uh, we kidding in our team is like um, the the workshop buffet. <laughs> yeah. So you yeah. you cannot join all of them. <coughs> of course. You need to select which one is meaning for you. Suitable for you. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then you're gonna bring your friend. So this is the uh, open for free. Oh no! This no. Uh, yeah, this is um, we have the sp very special to get okay. for the government official and also <coughs> for the um, yeah mm. for the especially for the professor in university. Ah. Yeah, because we want to drive the country forward. We need uh -huh. to support that uh, with that. the elite a little, little bit of that. Right. But uh, they have to register. Yeah, they have to sign up at they our have. website. Uh, at the uh, website, you will tell us uh, at yeah. the end of the program, right? So that you can have to quickly write it down because this is such a great opportunity for the people to. To be in is very first mm -hmm. time, very mm -hmm. very first time. So from Asia, I mean, what what are the countries? So right now we got uh, people from uh, thirty five country, yeah, worldwide. Thirty five. Yeah, thirty five country to join. Ooh, yeah, nice. we're talking about like the, a thousand of CEO and executive, <coughs> both in the public and private sector. Mm -hmm. They're gonna join. Where it's gonna be held? It's gonna be held at um, uh, Centara Grand. Wow. 
Oh, that's yeah. you. That's you. So, what would be the highlights? That uh, hundred of them, hundred of the speaker, the highlights. Or yeah, what? and Is I think yeah, we we were very curate about the attendees. <laughs> So ah. I think all the attendees, like we, we got uh, very lucky to got all like many Thailand's fob list, yeah, to join. So yeah, you can bump into the, the top executive, and then you can exchange the idea. So we want it to be a very open space, open idea, mm. yeah, and uh, you can come and talk and see and learn. Yeah. So at the end of the conference, what we want you to get back is three things. Mm. So the first thing is you you be able to change your mindset. Mm. Yeah, bring the mm. new mindset back. Mm -hmm. Second. You're gonna enhance your new skill set, mm. yeah. Because in the conference, we're gonna have the innovation like blockchain, mm. like artificial intelligence, like all the buzz keyword. Mm. We we get all this world class speaker, yeah, to to come and then mm. uh, teach you about that. Mm. So so that's uh, the you get gonna get the new skill set. Mm. Yeah. How about SMEs? Because I, I'm I'm do I do care about because we've been talking about elite or uh, already stable companies. But how about smaller one? Which do you offer them? They come in. And right. So, so we also have the what we call like <coughs> super, like entry level, like mm. the, the the ticket type. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you, they can also mm -hmm. sign up for the entry ticket type as well. Ah, yeah. So that that's going to be like um, eighty percent cheaper. Mm. Because yeah. some of them already knowledgeable. Some of them have key, very keen, and have a full blown of a uh, what. To, to, to practice or to have their development, you know? Yeah, so that, that's why I see that uh, this, uh, the ev this even going to become the, the space for people to connect as well. Mm. Because I think the key point to move the, everything together is mm. we need to build the ecosystem. Mm. Mm. And now we're mm. trying to mm. build the ecosystem mm. of mm. corporate innovator. Mm. Yeah, those who okay. work with the corporate, either SME or the, mm. or the large corporate, mm. they can join. And then they, they, uh, we're going to become like the, the ecosystem. Mm. And we're going to build an ecosystem for Thailand mm. yeah, to be the hub of mm. corporate innovation because we have so many great mm. corporate people mm. here. Mm. Yeah, and at the end, yeah, we're going to build this to be the platform for the region. Mm. Listening to you, I'm getting, you know, this is, this is a pride of Thailand actually because of, with the young, energetic uh, people, group of people to, to manage to have such a big uh, conference. So how those countries, like to say how many, 30 something countries, how do they look at us? Is it this capability, ability of the Thai people? I think it's already proven if they, if they come. <coughs> yeah, if they mm. decide to come, it means something. It means mm. we, uh, we, we, uh, we're building great things. Mm. Yeah, so then uh, let's, um, let's go and see. Mm. Yeah, this is our first time mm. yeah, and uh, we, we try our best. Mm. To, to put Thailand on the map. Mm. So how will how this will be benefit to business enterprises in Southeast Asia? Not only Thailand, but our friends. Southeast yeah, Asia. For, yeah. The, these uh, these mm. corporate innovation things, mm. like uh, how to move the, your company faster, is not only for Thai company. How about Ireland friends? Well, it, it, we don't want to compare on that kind of thing, but uh, we know that uh, at least we we need to help because ASEAN is ASEAN. We are we are one in the same. So we need to look at them, we need to uh, provide them, whatever. So do you think that some country needs, well, how much that you can, you know, to look at it and help them to boost up? Them? Yeah, so I, I think we, um, <laughs> uh, firstly, we need to build our own ecosystem first. First, yeah. we have to be strong enough. We, we need to be strong mm -hmm. enough that mm -hmm. before we support the others. Mm. Yeah, and once we're strong enough, Maybe next year mm. we could invite <coughs> more like the uh, like Southeast Asia and our neighbor, <coughs> yeah, to join. <coughs> no, but yeah. this year we don't. I don't know. Asia. Uh, th this year they already they are some of them already come, ah. but but not but not so many because ah. yeah, our our conference is more more international. Uh -huh. So people okay. flying from Singapore, from Tokyo, yeah, from Hong Kong, yeah. That's that's uh, the. This is the self-supporting, right? I mean, they come in by themselves. Right, we right. the invitation or what? No, yeah, no, uh, they, 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 they come by themselves. Well, I'm asking this because um, that shows that uh, Thailand is the limelight for them to come and join. Right, so right, right. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that the, the key, uh, another key reason, I think, right now, what we believe is that we believe that Southeast Asia is going to be the next China. Yeah, why? Yeah, why? Because uh, if you're looking at internet uh, 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 user, very high. 
Very high. Mm. Southeast Asia is the, 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 the fastest growing internet uh, user in the world right now. Mm. Uh, we overtook China. And that shows, that shows that we are equally to China or what? No, I mean, uh, because uh, China, they have more population, everyone know that. Uh. Yeah. But then if you look at the growth rate, uh. because now we'll be talking about the growth rate. Uh. So the growth rate for us is higher. Mm. So that, that's why right now many, many like mm. country mm -hmm. eyes on Asia, mm. especially Southeast Asia. So, what do you call doctor come business person, <laughs> investor, <laughs> conglomerate, CEO? What is your expectation of this outcome of this uh, event? At the end, I, I like the people to, to be hands on. Mm -hmm. At least they need to get something back yeah, because uh, I was um, inspired. Yeah, when I when I went to uh, like some uh, the summit, the conference all over the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I found uh, out that. I get inspired for a few days. Maybe and you then, especially. That's why you cook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but at the uh, end, uh, how are we going to make a real change? Mm. So I, I wish that this conference is going to be the starting point for the people to make a real change mm. for their own organization mm -hmm. and later yeah, for the society and the country mm. and the region. But uh, for three years, it has proved something, right? You have done a lot. I mean, I mean, yeah, it's moving just, here and there, one percent yet. Right. So we, yeah, we, um, uh, we, we are not there yet, like uh, uh, the the one percent thing. Uh, yeah, but we, uh, but we moving fast. Mm. We moving fast. Mm. So uh, when you talk about this conference, only paperwork or uh, any innovation machine uh, or anything to be brought in. Yeah, so we uh, we all uh, we also have like the around hundred startup from all over the world to exhibit. Oh really? Yeah. So you so you're gonna experience like, like what? Uh, wow. There we um no, we we talking to the company called doing the AI. Uh, yeah, AI, gonna gonna uh, gonna show their the, the uh, automatic their service. The yeah, the artificial intelligence artificial, uh, in insurance. Yeah, we're gonna have that too. We got we have like people from MIT. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Media Lab. Uh -huh. Yeah, to come and join us. We have mm. like professor from Stanford. Mm. Yeah, so I think yeah, we, we got um, like the whole Silicon Valley. Mm. Yeah, both wow. uh, the um, the West Coast and uh. also the people from East Coast. Mm. Yeah, also come. If a wealth uh, of company you want to secure or buy some of the equipment or the know-how, can they do that? Yeah, we have the, the we have the very special session. Mm. Not only the the, the, the keynote speaker, mm. the panelists, and also the workshop that we have. Mm. We also have uh, uh, what we call one-on-one -on -one session. This is good. Yeah, meaning that if you have one question that you've been like thinking about it for mm. uh, uh, and, many, and don't dare to pick lips up the hand right. with the others. Yeah, uh. you can book the session oh. with a speaker. One-on-one. Oh, on one. Really? It's kind of like... The world-class speaker, you can right. have that much? Yeah, yeah, but you need to hurry because the slot gone, gone, <coughs> uh, gone fast. Of course. Right, but then if you be able to do that, you can get 15 minute one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. with a speaker. Ask a question that mm -hmm. is in your mind. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and that's what we, what we say. It's, uh, it's like speed dating. Oh. <laughs> Final message, sir. Why don't you invite them right away? Please join. Yeah, so it's uh, it's coming up in the next uh, the three days. So um, on the the, the thirty eighth and thirty ninth mm -hmm. uh, March, mm -hmm. at Centra Grand. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, it's I uh, we we try very hard to put Thailand on the map, and then to bring every innovation mm -hmm. uh, corp uh, for the corporate people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, the, please come and join us. Wish you all the best uh, for what you're undertaking, and um, I know that this is uh, even if you are like behind the scenes. Not behind the scenes, and I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> bring the pushing, the push, the push, and uh, that's a good sign for the country, right? We try harder. <laughs> All the best, then, sir. Ending up our program with thanks to Dr. Superchai Pajarianon, CEO and founder of the Regional Corporate uh, Innovation Accessory. What accessorator arise? So thank you for being here. Thank you. We end up our program with thanks and we do hope you enjoy the show and uh, looking forward to seeing you again. Sorry,